Okay. So let's suppose that we have an axis over here and a function over here. So actually this function uh, can pass through the origin. It can pass, it can have a negative axis. But in this case, we assume it has a positive axis. And depending on its slope, it will rotate upwards or downwards. <coughs> now suppose we have certain points over here. We have an interval. So this is the interval. And we close it. And this interval is divided into smaller sub intervals. So I'm drawing just uh, two sub intervals for convenience. But obviously, we can have more sub intervals. Now, uh, remember that omega is brought in, and omega can be any point between within a sub interval. So omega is here and we construct a rectangle by ex expanding it. So this is the length and then we construct a box which is like this. this the height. So at this moment we don't need the box. Now one question is that why we do we have the interval here? We could have it here also or here. And secondly given the interval we can also switch the omegas. So this makes the process of finding the Riemann sum very arbitrary and ad hoc. So what we actually, Riemann actually suggest is, we'll keep the omega to the side, that we reduce the length. So in other words, we increase the number of intervals and so that the intervals gets smaller and smaller. So basically we are pulling it over here. So the interval moves over here and the limit is that the interval is tends to zero. So that means we have, I'll give it a different color so that it's easier to understand. Well, not very clear. Um, yeah, this is clear. So we have a point like this. Similarly, this second point is also shifted and it becomes, well, I don't have such a fine uh, ability, but they will be just side by side. You can see a white cap. This white cap will not exist. So what we basically have is a set of points, uh, this interval, but uh, what we have is we have a set of points which are dense, so it's, I mean, they will actually be closer. So what will happen is, if we look at it visually, we are going to have, have something like this. I've not uh, gone to the right, but we are going to have Instead of a rectangle, we are going to have points which are so densely scattered that it will appear to be a polygon. So that means if we take the green line, we are going to have a shape like this. So, 
ultimately we are going to have a set of points and we are going to have a set of lines so basically the area will become something like this which is exactly what we want so the riemann integral the riemann sum uh, is able is not as arbitrary as it looks like looks like it enables us to find out the area under the curve between two points quite accurately and if we instead of rectangles if we use lines like this then the approximation is almost perfect